Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of thermodynamics. In our last lectures, we have studied about entropy, what is entropy and how you can use different type of formulas to do different type of the problems. And I have done several questions. I think you like that videos. Okay. So in now, in this lecture, we will study about Trotoon rule and the entropy and disorderliness. Okay. So Trotoon's rule is very much important. It is actually very short rule and nothing very serious it is very easy but you should know about this because sometimes questions are asked and in that questions you need Trotoon's rule okay so according to the Trotoon's rule the molar entropy of vaporization of most of the liquids is about 10.5 r it means in the case of most of the liquids what is meaning by this most of the liquid terms it means the liquid should not have any type of hydrogen bonding or any other type of the interaction between its molecules. Okay. And secondly, its boiling point Tb should be greater than 150 Kelvin. It should not be lesser than 150 Kelvin. So when these two conditions are fulfilled, in that case, the molar entropy of vaporization of the liquids is about 10.5 R or we can say it is 87.3 Joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay. For example, if we see the case of benzene. Okay. In the case of benzene, we know del H of vaporization is equal to 31.171 kilojoule per mole. And what is its boiling point? Its boiling point is 353 Kelvin. So if you divide it by the boiling point, it means if you are seeing is entropy of vaporization. We give the entropy of vaporization by dividing this terrace vaporization by the boiling point. Okay. So this will be equal to 88.3 Joule per Kelvin per mole. As I have told you, this thing, see here, 87.3 and this is 88.3. It means almost similar. So, in most of the ideal liquids, you will get the same value. It means the LS of vaporization is almost equal to 10.5 R. But it does not apply to the liquids where there is hydrogen bonding or some other type of the interaction. For example, if you see the case of water. In water, you know there is hydrogen bonding okay so if you see its del s of vaporization then this comes out to be 44012 divided by 373 its boiling point okay so you are getting the value will be equal to 118.0 joule per kelvin per mole so you can see here this value is how much greater than this value okay so this is not applicable to such type of liquids okay so this is all about Trotoon's rule now one more thing i will give you in this lecture that is entropy and disorderliness see here entropy and disorderliness what is relationship between them we know there are several formulas for the entropy change relationships we have seen in the our previous lecture and from these all one thing is clear that entropy is a direct measure of disorderliness or randomness as the randomness increases we know as the randomness increases entropy will increase okay or we can say if the disorder increases then the entropy will increase okay so there are some of the criteria by which we can find out where the entropy will increase or where the entropy will decrease for example, first is the temperature. If we see temperature, as the temperature increases, the entropy will increase. Okay. As the temperature increases, entropy will increase. We can see this by the formula. Del S is equal to N CPM natural log of T2 upon T1. In this formula, you can see if T2 is greater than T1, 
only in that case this lateral log of t2 upon t1 will be a positive quantity t okay and when this is positive quantity t only in that case del s will be positive okay so for del s to be positive this t2 should be higher than t1 okay it means temperature should increase actually what happens when temperature increases we give the temperature to the system then the energy of the molecules increases so these molecules start moving their motions will increase okay as their motions increases then the disorder will increase they are moving outside here and there okay so disorderness will increase or hence the entropy will increase second thing is the pressure as the pressure increases entropy will decrease okay we can see it by the formula del s is equal to n r natural log of p1 upon p2 see here p1 is above and p2 is down it means when p1 is greater than p2 only in that case natural log of p1 upon p2 will be a positive quantity t okay and only in that case this del s will be positive okay so for del s to be positive p1 should be higher okay and we know as the pressure is increasing this is our system okay and we are increasing the pressure from here okay we are increasing the pressure this system is going here okay now it is coming here so the as the pressure increases these molecules will settle down here okay so their motion will decrease okay and orderness will increase so the entropy will decrease the third thing is volume so what happens when the volume increases the entropy will increase actually what is the formula del s is equal to n r natural log of v2 upon v1 these all formulas we have seen in our previous lecture okay so v2 is when greater than v1 only then this natural log of v2 upon v1 will be a positive quantity t okay and in that case del s will be positive it means as the volume increases the entropy will increase okay because the space in the system will increase and if space increases then motion will increase and then the randomness will increase okay the next thing is the physical state okay we know solid state is more arranged okay and liquid state is less arranged and then gaseous state is very much less arranged okay so in the solid state the entropy will be very much less as compared to the entropy of the liquid state and this will be very much less than the entropy of the gaseous state it means entropy of the gaseous state is maximum because in the gaseous state the molecules are more free to move okay so the disorderness will be highest in the case of gaseous molecules for example c1 case Fe2O3 solid is treated with 3H2 gas, so it is forming 2FeS plus 3H2O liquid. Okay, in this system you can see as we are moving in the rightward directions, then the number of the gaseous molecule is decreasing. Okay, the gaseous atoms are now here not available. only at the side the gaseous atoms are present okay so gaseous state is changing to liquid state it means orderness is increasing so the entropy will decrease okay so entropy is decreasing as the gaseous species decreases the entropy will obviously decrease fifth state is fifth criteria is that when the molecules dissociate if there is dissociation of molecules okay molecules are changing to atoms or ions then the number of particles are increasing okay this is one molecule and this is changing to number of atoms number of particles is increasing okay so randomness is increasing as the number of the particles is increasing so the entropy is also increasing see one example here half n2 gas plus 3 by 2 h2 gas is forming ns3 gas okay in this case in this reaction you can see here are 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 it means 
two molecules and here is only one molecule okay so number of gaseous molecules is decreasing it means the entropy is obviously decreasing okay but in the case of heterogeneous system suppose you have given a heterogeneous system where gas is also present or liquid is also present or solid is present all types of states are present in that case one thing you should remember that we will consider only the gaseous species we will not consider the liquid species or we will not consider the solid species we will only consider the gaseous species okay so as the number of gaseous species increases the entropy will increase for example here this is only one species this is one molecule and there is two molecules of the gaseous species okay it means the gaseous species are increasing okay so when the gaseous species are increasing the entropy will obviously increase all right now see the next criteria when you have given the molecules with the same atomicity for example you have given o2 and you have given h2 both are having the same atomicity okay then you will have to consider the molar mass see here in this case this is o2 and this is h2 o2 will have higher molar mass than the h2 so o2 will have the higher entropy than the h2 similarly if you have given n2 and o2 then o2 will have higher molar mass so o2 will have higher entropy than the o2 n2 okay so these are the some criteria by which we can find out which system will have a higher entropy change in which system the entropy is increasing or in which system the entropy is decreasing okay a two marks question can be asked from that particular topic okay so i think this video will be clear to you and if you are liking my videos please comment me please share the videos please subscribe the channel and if you want any more topic you can comment me thank you